he's going to be there, isn't he? That's it. He's going to be a Bayern player next season, Jan. Well, for more than two months now, his language has been, I want to go to Barcelona. And as you said, Dan, he's back in training, but now his body language is telling us something. He's too oh. late to two sessions. This is keeping up with Bayern at the moment. The German journalists are going ballistic. They're say, showing everything, going into testing, out of testing. It's all in a minute. Who is, uh, who is hugging? Who is not hugging? But he is desperate to get away. And his body language is training not very good. He looks like a player who wants to leave. And there is some new deadlines. I can give you those deadlines. Saturday, there's going to be a team presentation in the Allianz Arena. Imagine all the fans in the stadium... They're going to introduce one and one player. And ladies and gentlemen, Robert Lewandowski, the player who wants to leave, take a big welcome for him. So I think there could be some changes before Saturday. And Monday, of course, they're going to their training camp in USA, traveling on Monday. So there are things to be done the next hours in Munich and in Barcelona. Uh, Jan, you mentioned the fans. What's their take on this? I think they uh, have had enough. I think that Salahamidzic has done what you should do when the people get a bit moody. You have to throw them bread and sausages, as they do in Bayern, and uh, they have to get new players in. And to be fair to Salahamidzic, he's managed to get Mane in. It's a great signing for Bundesliga, a great signing for Bayern Munich. He has more or less managed or is on his way to get De Ligt in. It's all about now agreeing with Juventus. He's talked the player into that. The funny thing is, uh, is that Bayern is using this strategy to get Mane and De Ligt to tell their club that they want to leave. Barcelona tell Lewandowski, can you tell Bayern you want to leave? But then he's a traitor. That is the name of the game. And then the Bayern fans will say, well, Mane and De Ligt are saying nothing in the media. And my God, Lewandowski has used the media to tell that I want to leave the club. It's a fascinating dynamic from all different angles, Stevie. Yeah. From Nagelsmann's angle, like how do you, how would you deal with this? Wow. Hmm. My goodness. Because we, we're hearing, for example, one, there was a practice yeah. match and whoever lost the match yeah. then had to do push-ups. He was the only one who didn't do the push-ups because he was yeah. on the losing team. Yeah. Like one rotten apple. You, the problem is you can't win, you know, because you've got your best player who wants away. If he doesn't do set-ups and everybody else is, mm -hmm. then... Under normal circumstances, you go up, you stick your finger in the guy's face and say, hey, everybody else is doing it. But at the same time, you're trying to keep this guy on side. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a no-win situation. Because even though this guy's your number one player and you try to keep him on side, if I'm one of the Bayern players and I'm working and he's not because he doesn't want to do it, I don't care how good a player he is, it's going to upset the rest of the team. So... You, you can't win either way. If you come down hard on Lewandowski, then he might just say, you know what, I might have wanted away before, but if you're, if you're going to start, then you know what, even if I don't, I'm doing nothing. I mean, it, you can't win. Nagelsmann can't win. Do you leave him in Germany when they go, on, mm. go to the States? Wow. Mm. <laughs> well, I think, first of all, you, you need to have a, 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 a handle on what you think the outcome's going to be. Right. And if you think there's no way that Salah Hamza up the stair is going to let this guy go, then you have to take him. And you have to try and work on him. You've got to get him in your room. But and does that not just cause problems, though, like within well, the Well, no, because you're trying your best to work on the guy. Right. You're trying your best to get... Because by all accounts, Lewandowski is a good person. He's a good guy. Never caused trouble. Always works hard. Always on time. Just a perfect professional. So you, if you're the manager, you're trying to work on every good bit of this guy and try and get him back on side somehow. Say you're a Thomas Muller figure within that camp. Mm. What role, if any, do you play mm. in this? I think, as a fellow professional, as a teammate, uh, I, you reach out to Lewandowski. And not in front of everybody, but hey, let's have a coffee. Right. Now, come on down. Let's, uh, let's have a conversation, professional to professional, friend to friend, man to man. What do you want? What do you need? I want to leave. Yes. What do you need from us? To help me it, leave. Okay, right. <laughs> if, is there any way back? And if there is no way back, then I think the conversation takes a different tone. 
And, and what but sort that, of tone? Don't ruin it for the rest of us? Or? Well, hey, hey, Robert, we, we got to prepare for the season, right? And so you, you do what you need to do. You take care of yourself. But uh, we, we, would, we would ask you to continue to be a professional for as long as uh, you're here. This is the standard that you have set for yourself. Don't, don't go away from that standard. Don't leave an image that you don't need to leave because you're looking ahead to Barcelona and you have whatever feelings you have with Bayern Munich right now. Please have the big picture in mind and understand that what you have done in Bayern Munich has been historic. Don't taint that image because of poor behavior. Jan, has that ship already sailed? Well, first of all, it's sailed. And secondly, I think that the Thomas Miller will also think that he's a fellow professional who knows that there are some offers. He's 33. Thomas Müller could have had an offer from Real Madrid and Barcelona. He would have stayed anyway. I think there is more understanding of his situation among the players that, than the buyer management like to think. Because uh, let's not forget the history behind this. It's just, uh, uh, Robert Lewandowski is very angry uh, how the uh, Erling Haaland situation was handled by the same management of Bayern Munich. So I think there is no way back for him. I think there is. it's all a matter of no for, for Barcelona to come up with enough money. Uh, there was a funny situation in training today where, where they say that, well, in a modern game of football, um, now we are talking about a player who scores 41 goals, which is quite modern in my opinion, but in a modern day in football, you need strikers who do pressing. Uh, so there was an exercise today in training where they were, were, were practicing um, uh, pressing uh, and gigging pressing and all that comes with that. And Robert Lewandowski was the only striker who was with the playing five against two in a, in a circle uh, beside that exercise. So it's all about also now, I guess, for the buyer management and team Lewandowski to win the kind of history, the, how we tell the history now that he had going to keep his, as Ali's talking about, his, his reputation uh, at the club. So I think that maybe we'll see tomorrow or, or Saturday that there will be a solution here because the solution, there is no way then a rotten apple can be in that basket because that would make a big, big trouble for Bayern Munich this coming season. If I'm Barcelona looking at all of this playing out, Jan, I'm taking my foot off the gas, though, surely a little bit, just waiting for all this to explode and Bayern to go, look, just, just take him. We, look, we just don't need, as you say, this rotten apple. So there's surely from a Barcelona perspective, there's no rush. Yeah, but the, the, the problem is that at Barcelona, I mean, I mean, we could have another program just talking about their situation. They True. have a de Jong, they have a de Jong that they want to leave and they have agreed with Manchester United, <laughs> but they call him traitor because he wants to stay and he said, please, can I have my money before I leave? So, I mean, if the solution is Barcelona, is not the right answer we are uh, uh, putting in here because I think that is complicated enough. I think this is all about now for Salahamidzic and Oliver Kahn to sit down with Barcelona, just find a solution the next 48 hours, because now it's turning into something very dirty game, which is quite certain that he will come back, OK, that he will not, not strike, we knew that, but his body language, everything, he has already in his mind said, of Widersen zum, zum Bayern, he's already gone, it's just his body is hanging around in Sevenersplasse. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.